welcome back guys. In this chapter I'm going to be teaching you how to save documents in Photoshop in different formats. Now if you already know about different image formats, you can skip to the next chapter where we are going to be starting the cover magazine. But if you're not familiar with saving documents, follow these simple steps to learn how to save your work in Photoshop. So this is the document as we have saved it in the last chapter, and now I'll show you how to save it in different formats. You can either go to File and Save As, or you can use the shortcut Control shift s Either way, this window will pop up, and from here you can decide under what name and format you want to save your work, and where in your computer you want it to be saved. In this case, the name was already set as Introduction, and from here you decide the location or directory you want to save it, usually on the desktop or in your documents. Or you can also create a special folder for all your Photoshop documents by clicking this icon, and you can name the folder My Photoshop Docs, for example, and the folder will be created in this case on my desktop. Double click on the folder you just created to save it inside of it, and here we've got the different formats. I'm not going to go over each one of the formats because it's not really necessary for you to know it right now, and I don't want to make you too bored, but I'll go over just some of the most common formats. PSD, which is the first one, is a Photoshop format only. It means that when you save the document in this format, the document will be opened with Photoshop only, and you will be able to continue editing it in the future. But if, for example, you put this document into your pen drive and try to open it from another computer that doesn't have Photoshop installed, you won't be able to open it. Now, the other three common formats are GIF, JPG, and PNG. The basic difference between them and PSD is that if you save the document in any one of these three formats, you won't be able to edit them in the future. You will be able to view them only. Although, you will be able to view them in almost any computer in the world because they are universal image formats and any computer comes with a photo viewer software installed by default. These three are very similar with each other, but with some differences. For example, GIF is the lowest quality format for images. JPG is a better quality. And with PNG, you could say it's an intermediate quality format. But the cool thing about PNG is that if you make an illustration or graphic or whatever your project is, and you want to save it with transparent background, if you save it in PNG format, it will keep the background transparent. But with any other format, the background would be white. This maybe makes no sense to you, but for graphic designers, it's very important to save the work with transparent backgrounds sometimes. For example, for icons or logos designing. However, for this chapter, we don't need to save the document, as we'll be starting fresh for the magazine cover in the next video. But just so you see, I'll save this in PSD and JPG to show you the difference. I'll select PSD and save. And now I'll do the same, Control shift s but this time I'll save it as JPG. And in this dialog window you can choose the quality of the image. I'll set it at the maximum quality and hit OK. Now I close Photoshop. And in my desktop, I have the folder I created earlier called My Photoshop Docs. And inside, I have the document PSD and the document JPG. If I double click on the JPG, I can view my project, but I can't edit it. And now, if I double click the PSD document, it will open up Photoshop, and from here, I can continue editing. As you can see, it kept the same layers and the same things I had at the same time I saved it. Now once you have saved your document for the first time, you won't need to see this dialog window every time you want to save your document. If you want the document to be saved with the same name and in the same folder in your computer, just go to File and Save, or use the shortcut Control S, and the document will be automatically saved as PSD in the same place with the same name. If you need to save it in a different format, name or location, then you have to save as using Control shift s or going to File and Save As. Now, I'm just going to close Photoshop and delete this folder because I'm not going to need it anymore, and for the next chapter I'll create a new one to start fresh. I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next chapter.